My name is Dar Holdsworth. I own Darwin Motorcycles, and we build uncompromising American bikes. We have been uh, selected and volunteered to build the Navy bike, so we are in final assembly mode. As I mentioned, it is a theme bike, but we didn't want to go over the top. The USS Enterprise, which is on its final deployment, they've sent us some of the arresting cable that stops the planes when it comes in, and uh, we're using that arresting cable to build foot pegs for the bike. So it'll have a genuine piece of Navy, what would you call it? I mean, it's, it's history. It's not just a part, it's history. Uh, Navy ships, the, the planes, all that stuff has got to be uh, zero compromise. And, and you have to build it absolutely of the highest standards and quality. So, you know, we have to control that. And I'm sure we control that by building it here in America uh, with highly skilled, trained American uh, technicians. And so there is a neat correlation, I guess, between our bikes and um, the, uh, never thought of it like that, but the Navy ships, the Navy planes, um, you know, high quality, uncompromising American, built by Americans. I think it's important to pay tribute to our military. This is the first real tribute bike that we've done, uh, but we've always done a bike to support the troops. Uh, and what we've done is we'll build a bike and either raffle it off to support a charity like Pros for Vets that we support, or we'll sell it uh, and proceeds will go to a charity. We've also worked with the Wounded Warrior Foundation. We've worked with Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund. Each year we do a bike uh, like that. Uh, we have a program now that we call Recycle for the Troops, where we take a vintage bike, completely restore it, and then give it to a soldier. We've already done one of those this year. Uh, we've got three more slated. We want to do a bike a quarter that we give to a soldier. Uh, it just so happened that this bike, uh, this opportunity came up for us to work with Rolling Thunder. You know, this is the 25th anniversary of Rolling Thunder for our missing in action personnel and, and POWs. And so uh, my dad was a Vietnam vet. My uh, grandfather was a Navy vet uh, from World War II. And of course, I'm an Air Force vet. But um, I thought it'd be really important to find a way to contribute to this. We're just working hard at it to make sure that we can bring the absolute best bike possible uh, to this event. The bike will be unveiled at Rolling Thunder, but it doesn't stop there. It then travels with the wall as the wall goes from place to place. And so if it can help heal in some way um, or help make a connection in some way with our service members, then, you know, then we've done our job.